Jen. And I'm Al. Today we're going to talk about Image Palooza happening on Thursday, July 26th at the corporate office. First, we're going to go through logistics and then we will tell you what to wear. First, we're going to kick it off with the forgotten fifth member of the Four Tops, Spencer Quinn. Come on up, Spence. What's going on, Clyde Image? Man, it feels good time to be recognized. <laughs> but forget that. Let's go over the itinerary for our Image Palooza. From 3.35 is going to be our company meeting. It is mandatory, so please plan accordingly with traffic. From 5 to 6.30 is going to be dinner time. While we're enjoying our meal and drinks, the band are going to be setting up around 5.30 and should be ending a projected time from around 9 o'clock. Let's go over parking. We are going to be allowing parking in the front of the building and parking in the rear of the building. It will be sectioned off, so again, get there on time. Also, we'll have parking up and down Glenwood Hills, but be respectful for your employees and give them space to get in and out. Thank you, Spencer. That Diana Ross wig is a great segue into what to wear for Image Palooza. Let's bring in the models, shall we? Our first model today is Chris Niver, done in some more formal wear, similar to that worn by the Temptations. As you can see, he has on a nice polyester tux with the velvet on top, very popular during this time. He also added a little bit of flair with his ruffled shirt and bow tie, wouldn't you say, Alex? Oh, absolutely. Looking groovy, Chris. Our next model is Laura Castle. As you can see, she's going for a more supreme look. Sequins were very popular during Motown. Ooh, look at them sleeves. Our next model is Tyler Hammersma. He's chosen to go with a more Jackson 5 type outfit. As you can see, he has some nice powder blue bell bottom pants on, complemented with a lovely button up polyester shirt. In the Motown era, colorful shirts were all the rage. Looking fab, Ty. Our next model is Tracy Morris. Don't forget that the Motown era ran from the late 50s to the early 70s. So if you don't feel like dressing like the Supremes, you could always go for a more classic 60s look. Thanks, Trace. Our next model is Stephanie Moss, giving us another example of a classic 60s look. She is wearing a paisley jumper, which was all the rage back then. It really is going to accentuate those dance moves that image palooza. Thanks, Steph. Now that you've seen some ideas of what to wear to Image Palooza, please remember to keep it appropriate. If you have any questions on your outfit on whether or not it's an appropriate idea, please reach out to me. Well, that's all the time we have today on In the Booth with Ann and Al. I'm Ann. And I'm Al. See you at Image Palooza.